Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Is it or is it not a factor when shopping for a new vehicle? Hey everybody, Dave Erickson here with Everyman Driver. And this week I have a 2017 Kia Sorento which has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I posed that question to my fans and followers on Instagram and Facebook recently. I wanna read some of those comments because I think it's very interesting. But first, let's go inside and I'll show you how the Apple CarPlay works. Okay, I'm gonna take my iPhone 7 Plus, use my USB cable which is plugged into my port just below my climate controls put it here in the spot now it's going to show here on my phone it's reading USB port Apple CarPlay is connected there's the Apple CarPlay icon now here in the menu section I'm gonna scroll up and there is the icon for Apple CarPlay I'm gonna press it and now I can see on my infotainment screen a mirror of what's on my phone if I ever want to go back to the Kia information I can just kick, hit the Kia icon and there I am but I can go right here and there is the Apple CarPlay icon here on my main screen press it again now I'm back to what I see on my phone and from here I can play music that's on my phone uh, do some Google Maps and get directions play podcasts scroll over I've got Pandora and Audible also so if I want to listen to a book or some other music I can and also take phone calls uh, from uh, my Bluetooth so it's all connected right here so if I get a call I can just answer it with the uh, steering wheel mounted controls. So here are the comments first from Facebook when I posed a question about Android Auto and Apple CarPlay being a factor when buying a new vehicle. So here we go with Michael. He says, it was a must have for me. I bought two new vehicles this year and both of them have a CarPlay and I use it daily no matter which one I'm driving. Scott wrote here, not a must have for me. It's probably an amazing system, but I'm simple and I get along fine with normal Bluetooth. I get along fine with an aux cord before that. Rich here writes, it is a must have and I have it in my Volkswagen Tiguan. I like maps better on CarPlay than the Volkswagen navigation system. Cecil, CD players need to come back or at least has an option. There was a time when you could order a CD changer from Alpine to fit in your car, bring it back. Ed says CarPlay was must have, zero cost navigation via Apple Maps direct connect cord to car speakers, mic without needing Bluetooth, podcast, audible, text voice command, Volkswagen Golf TSI 2016. Now I'm gonna read the comments on my Everman Driver Instagram account, beginning with Little Renegade. He says here, it is a factor. Once you've had it in the car, it's hard to use in other interfaces, and he has a 2017 Jetta. Magic1636 writes, while I don't have either at the moment, it's definitely a factor for myself personally. I'm hoping by the end of December that I'll be in a new vehicle. Well, good luck, and I hope you find one. T Browse 76 says, yes, it is a factor. It's one of the main reasons why I chose my Elantra over the Corolla. How ironic since I just had the Corolla last week and it doesn't have it and the Hyundai certainly does. Uh, Y-O-I-T-S-R-I-0. Yes, I have it so to lose it would be going backwards. Totally understand. Uh, Damon Crawley. CarPlay availability was a prime factor in my vehicle candidate list. If it didn't offer it, I didn't look at it. Now that I have it in my two-week-old vehicle, and series hands-free, it's so much easier to use. Northern Lights Guy, it is an important feature for me. Uh, Ma White 86, I've been holding off buying a car because I'm waiting to hear about Apple CarPlay integration. That's the way everyone's moving. JSM Baseball, I don't have it yet, but it will be a factor in my next purchase. MJP Silverman 65, I held off buying my 2016 Kia Forte here in New Zealand for months till I was certain Apple CarPlay software update was available. Wouldn't have bought it otherwise. I love it. There's a endorsement for you. Rusty Ford OC is not a factor. Just ordered a new truck with the capability, but will never use it until more apps become available, such as Waze and Gas Buddy iPhone mirroring would be much more useful. Four wheel drive nine, it's a deal breaker. SY Coco is a factor, especially if Waze works on it. Jai Karsh Chava, pardon me on that one. I have it on my 2017 Grand Cherokee and I don't like it, so I don't house it. So no, it's not a deal breaker for me. Bobby083, I just purchased a 2018 Audi Q5. I did a vehicle review on that one. I wouldn't have purchased the Q5 if it didn't have Apple CarPlay. That's a big purchase too. DKW50, kind of, but wouldn't be a deal breaker. 
Thankfully, my 2017 Audi Q7 has it, so I didn't have to decide. And finally, uh, COY Gary, it totally is. That's why I'm not getting a new Toyota CHR. So there's the feedback that I've received, a couple dozen comments so far, on whether or not Apple CarPlay Android Auto is a factor in buying a new vehicle. If you'd like to comment below, maybe I'll do a follow-up video on this, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. This has been my little demo here inside the 2017 Kia Sorento. This is the SXL all-wheel drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your feedback. I'll see you next time. Adios.